Welcome to this KD Tips and Tricks screencast. And in this screencast I want to show you the KD answer to the Ubuntu software center called Muon Discovery. And before I go on and show you Muon Discovery, first of all Muon. What is Muon? Muon is a set of different tools. One of course is a package management tool and the second one is yeah, a software center like installing applications tool. Let me show you the Muon software center, the Muon installer basically, how it looked like uh, yeah, until version 1.4. This just simply reassembles one of the earlier versions of the Ubuntu software center. As you can see here you have basic categories in here. You can click just for example on multimedia here and you get a long list of various different applications that you might want to install, might uh, have a look and take a look on it in it. You can click on more info here, you get some more infos, get a screenshot and you have to have an install button in here, you have some add-ons uh, and this is basically the application how it looked like until version 1.3. More on installer, very boring, not very interesting and yeah it, it does its job installing software but it's not very good in discovering software especially if you're new to Linux to Linux distribution it, it's not what you want by the way the Moon software center only works as far as I know on Debian based distributions just like for example Neptune in here or there's also a version available or I think it's also the, the default package management tool in uh, Kubuntu under Kubuntu so there you have Moon also this this is the Moon software center the Moon installer how it's called and there's also a Moon package manager which kind of yeah wants to replace Synaptic in a way the KDE just version of Synaptic basically as you can see here uh, it gives you a list of packages and you can install them and, and so on check for updates this is basically uh, this one there's also a little nifty tool I think introduced with version 1.3 it's an upgrading tool an updating tool the Moon updater so the Moon update manager which allows you to see uh, various different softwares that you have installed just like for some system updates and application updates a very good um, divide in here between system uh, system updates just like libraries and so on and, and uh, X server in this case uh, and stuff that normal users don't care so much and um, yeah software applications just like for example VLC GIMP and so on a very good application but with the new 1.4 release the 1.4 beta release they also introduced Muon Discovery which is a very very cool and handy yeah I would say it's an improved Ubuntu Software Center because it has some features that are even better than the Ubuntu Software Center. So let me show you this. Uh, you can find it other by uh, Altf2 and um, just typing in Muon Discovery or in Kickoff just typing Muon this and there you have it. Muon Discover and this is basically the application. As you can see it has a featured area just like the Ubuntu Software Center so where you can see some applications, some games uh, that are featured uh, with with big screenshots and a description in here. You can just click on and go further on. You can see here this for example kdevelop in this case. I click on it and I have also then a detailed list view in here. You can see that I have the option to uh, see the um, description of it by the way it's in a localized description there you can see the uh, rating you can have you, you also have the option to click on the home page button to go to the home page you can see the total size when when you're only downloading the package and the total size on disk when installing it you have a screenshot in here you can click on it you can see a, by the way a very smooth transitions uh, this application is really really a dream to use especially in the transitions um, transi transitions that you normally would only see on smartphones are built in here and this is because the underlying tool here used for displaying all the stuff is uh, QML, a very good uh, markup language which allows you to do very very awesome uh, especially graphics stuff, very awesome animations and so on uh, with very very less coding. So this is basically this, you can see if I resize my window also the screenshots get resized and so on, this is very very nice. I have the option to install some add-ons, just by clicking here on add-ons you can see I can also for example mark for installation, k-app template um, generator for uh, 
for some templates for, for applications. Uh, I can install the localization package for kdevelop and so on. I can click on reviews to read some reviews or I can click on install to install it. What's so cool about this Moon Discover is and what takes it apart far apart from the Ubuntu Software Center in a case is the way to discover new software, especially for beginners. So first of all, let's see, okay, we have a, uh, different categories and subcategories. If I click on this, uh, you might know this from the Software Center also, but you have also some things just like the popularity contest and the best ratings. Best ratings is of course the Ubuntu rating system that's um, underneath this one that uh, you have the option to give some uh, rates, some applications basically, and those applications um, are shown here. As you can see, if we'll see it's on top, and then Chromium Web Browser Game, Audacity, Gparted, and Fazilla. All applications that I know, so I think the rating system is working. And you have the popularity contest, which is a Debian based stuff. Which, if you allow on the install, I think in Ubuntu it's also possible. And uh, under Debian, you have the uh, option to check a mark that you allow um, data to be collected for the popularity contest of um, packages. And this popularity contest basically counts the downloads of a package, and therefore it, yeah, basically creates a top 10 rating in here. And as you can see here, Ice Weasel is on top. Ice Weasel, by the way, is the um, unbranded Firefox for uh, Debian. So without the Firefox logo, uh, the Mozilla logo and the, and the Firefox logo. And as you can see here, you get a nice description here. You can add some add-ons, which is very, very nice up, up, um, option in here. You can just say, with installing Ice Weasel, I want also to have, what do I want to have? I want the down them all uh, extension for, for, for Ice Weasel. Uh, also build in, I click here on Mark and uh, can apply it. And it will automatically then also be installed when I hit, uh, hit the install button in here. Then uh, the other thing that I want to show you, which takes it really apart far away from the Ubuntu Software Center and uh, think in, in the think of discovering new software. If I click on multimedia, you will see what I mean. If I click on multimedia, you will get a whole list, but this list just looks very different to the one in the Ubuntu Software Center because it more resembles the uh, Chromium Web Store, the Chrome Web Store, um, or some other web stores that you might know from the internet so you get not only the name but also a nice little screenshot and an icon for the application and if i hover over an application just for example as some player i have the option to install the application or see the rating of the application in this case it's a five star rating so i know i think this is a good software i can click on it if this will go uh, this will go automatically then to the details page where i can see the description again i can see the screenshots uh, and uh, click on add-ons to, to install some add-ons just like for example uh, oh here themes for some player for example or translations if i need them and this is pretty pretty nice this is pretty pretty handy to discover new software i also by the way have the option of course to sort this uh, software again by popularity in this case it's uh, sorted by bus you can uh, sort it by the popularity for example and i think cheese is very high and Rhythm boxes on uh, first place in here. We'll see media player, second movie player, Brazero, and so on. So, all the nice applications that you can discover in here. But not if you have subcategories also on, just so for example, in the graphics category. Uh, let me show the graphics category. You can see that you not only get the subcategories in here, but you also see the ratings for this category, for the graphics category. So you have the document video in here for the popularity contest, but you have also the best ratings, just like for example, GNU image manipulation program, GWIMP is on top here. You have Inkscape. Okay, you have <laughs> Super Tuxcut, which is not a graphical application, but bah, it's near. Uh, you have Blender mm, Comics, which is, by the way, a very nice comic book reader that I discovered only with the Muon Discover tool, because, uh, yeah, I did not know that it, uh, such a thing existed, a specially written tool for reading comic books, which is pretty, pretty awesome, pretty, pretty nice. And you can see a screenshot in here, and it really, really makes uh, reading um, comic books and, uh, less pain than with the normal PDF viewer on your system. You can have some uh, add-ons in here. In this case, they're automatically marked because they are a dependency for this uh, comic book reader, Unra and Python Unra, because you can also read comics book uh, comic books that are rarred, so that are in an archive without extracting them. 
pretty pretty nice so this is this uh, you can then of course just look at the games for example if I click on the games category I now have some games in here just look for a drawer or something but if I click on arcade you can see how it looks appealing to the user that's new to Linux that wants to try out some games or something like this you can just look at the screenshots so you have an overview of all the arcade games that are available for Linux or at least in this uh, repositories that are activated by default and you can see all this little games in here with little screenshots and you can then just discover new games for example or games that you might want to know just for example this one here looks very interesting has a five star rating click on it and see wow this really looks nice I can click on install in here and this is pretty pretty nice so for discovering new software I think this Muon Discover is a very very handy a very very good tool one of the best tools I would even put it over the Ubuntu Software Center what was until now or until yeah, until now, I think the best, one of the best tools discovering software under Linux. But I think this Moon Discover tool, even if it's beta, it still beats the hell out of it. So this is something that Ubuntu has to focus on, on creating for, for their Ubuntu release, such a good integration in the Ubuntu Software Center, which kind of resembles this one or even better. So this is really, really nice uh, package, uh, very, very nice application. So let's go on to the other feature that are in built right into here. So if I click on install, you can see I have 41 applications installed and they are only applications listed, not uh, any libraries or something like this, only applications. I can sort them again by popularity or something like this. Uh, I have, what's this? Uh, the option to see, ah, the option to see them in the list view or in the grid view. If I click on grid, I can see them in a the grid view with their uh, screenshots again. So the one that you have saw earlier, saw all earlier. Um, or the grid free. It's a beta version. <laughs> so I don't see any big changes in here. Let me go to the list view again. So this one is working pretty, pretty nice. You can see the different uh, applications in here. You can then remove them. You can click, of course, on the application to uh, give give it a rating, for example, or a review. Just click on review here, give it a rating a summary, and then just uh, write your review in here for the application itself. And then the review get, uh, gets automatically up, uh, uploaded to the server. And then uh, after someone, I think, checked it, it will be then um, committed to and then will be shown in the reviews page. You have the option to launch the application, which is also nice, but uh, also to go to the home page to find out if there is some uh, um, work going on on this version. You can see it's still 2.0 beta 2 in this case, so no new update. So I have the same, almost the same, 1.81. I think this is the same. If I, it's a KDE application, they have some weird weird versioning uh, somehow the beta version for for example KDE 4.9 is called KDE 4.8.90 or something like this but it is uh, 4.9 beta so uh, some ap applications have weird versioning uh, this is basically installed applications. One thing that I want to warn you about is, at least in this beta version, is the upgrade all process here. If I click on this I have some hold packages and it's not recognizing these hold packages I'm not sure if it's work with apt pinning or something like this. So if you have uh, some special configurations, just like hold packages, in my case I have hold packages because of uh, the X server and, and AMD conflicting with your X server and so on. So I have uh, hold packages in here and if I click on upgrade all, it will <laughs> automatically upgrade these packages also, uh, even if I don't want it. So just use the Muon updater, which uh, just I think I showed you before just looks like this uh, and which just simply recognizes that you have some hold packages and if you click on uh, uh, it, it will not mark those hold packages it will only install those uh, applications that you really want to um, upgrade so beware of this don't click on upgrade here uh, if you uh, have hold packages one thing that's very very cool is the sources uh, list in here if i click on sources here you get a list of all the yeah, repository sources that are currently activated and in your 
list you can see the name and the address in this case I have for example the chromium PPA in here I can delete it if I want to if I don't like it anymore and I have also the option to see the various dif distributions that uh, this um, source is basically built for in this case it's based for lucid I'm running Debian here doesn't matter works I can click on this little um, symbol in here and this will show me what applications were installed or are currently installed from this um, source in this case it's growing web browser it's installed I can remove it uh, pretty pretty nice um, but also if I click on unofficial uh, multimedia packages from Debian you can see that I had two programs installed but or one program installed this is the VLC media player I had open shot installed but I removed it but it's all uh, so just showing it here so that even if I have removed some software from a special repository and can't remember where it was from I can by clicking going to through the different uh, sources list here uh, find my application very, very nice very handy let me go back I can also of course add some new sources I have some new sources you can see there are different um, examples in here I can add the DAP line if I want to I can add just the HTTP line to the repository or in PPA line it will automatically detect uh, which PPA is uh, meant in here and will put it into the source list and of course if you like the classical the old way of configuring your software sources you can click on configuring software sources and below the old KDE ish uh, configuring tool for software sources just like for example you can configure the updating tool and so on in there as well so this is basically the Moon discover tool which is uh, very very cool very handy and uh, I think this is really it needs some polishing here and there you see that there are some big blank yeah I, I could imagine that this one could be um, just extended to show perhaps three or four uh, applications in here not just one for example if you have brighter or, or if you have an, uh, more space on your mm, uh, on your display but it's pretty pretty cool it's it's for beta release it's really really awesome it works it's the only downsides f for some users might be that's only working on debian based distributions so just like neptune in this case or kubuntu uh it there is no backend really for uh, package kit for example but as this is an qml written application so qml is very portable there might be some of the upper guys uh, formerly now as package kit that might consider um, writing an um, backend for Moon Discover to use package kit instead of lib uh, qapt or write an uh, even better write an backend for qapt which uses uh, package kit instead of uh, the real app daemon uh, program I think it is the one that they are using so really really nice really really good application for discovering software and I think one of the best applications to discover software and yeah I really recommend using it uh, f for new users install it and uh, all the Neptune users will get this automatic no, not, not automatically they will get a beta release 1.4 and then you have the option with uh, the Muon just execute Muon in here package management tool or the Muon um, yeah, software installer search for Muon discover and then mark this uh, for installation click install and then you have Muon discover also installed on Aptune I think in a Kubuntu there's a PPA available which allows you to do a similar thing so uh, yeah this is basically everything for Muon discover the KDE answer to the Ubuntu software center and thanks for watching until the next time